The first five hours of my Lost Ark experience have been very enjoyable, and I'm going to break them down in the next five minutes and let you know from the point of view of a casual gamer, somebody that's just here to have fun, enjoy my time, play with some friends, grind some dungeons. I'm not looking to be the best in the world, climb leaderboards, or do anything like that. I'm trying to wake up in the morning, be able to have the time to take a shower, eat some food, and play the game with some buddies. That's basically going to be my mentality. So if you are looking for somebody that is kind of the average person, I'm going to be taking it from that angle. Now being said, this five hours of Lost Ark have been fantastic. I have been watching the cutscenes and enjoying the voiceovers. When you start the game, you will be experiencing these cutscenes and it basically boils down to people who are looking for the Lost Ark or AKA the Holy Grail to try to save people from some big bad demons. Now there's the most obvious bad guy ever in the beginning that's supposed to be a good guy, he's actually a bad guy. And then you have the ultra big good guy who's a priest who's actually a half demon so he has to tap into the dark power to defeat the other bad guy that's basically the story okay good versus bad and you are there helping people out and witnessing the whole thing but this game also has it all in terms of story they throw in a plague literally the black death and the black death also turns people into zombies and then you have a demon invasion on top of it as well as searching for the holy grail the whole thing is quite a lot there's definitely no argument to be made that this game is low quality. This game has had effort put into it, like 100% you can see the effort in the gameplay. On top of it, the actions feel fluid, meaning when I'm actually doing combat, it feels smooth. When I'm in a dungeon, it feels like everything's working the way I would assume it worked. It does have just enough difficulty for me to feel like I'm challenged and the damage is ramping. And it does have just enough in terms of quest variability. And yes, there's plenty of quests like kill this, farm this, etc. Um, but there's enough variability that the quests don't feel too repetitive, at least within the first five hours. There is lots of side missions you can do if you choose to do those side missions. And the side missions feel worth it. It feels like my time in actually going into the side missions uh, you know, gets paid out in, in, in a good fair amount. I remember one of these, I actually ended up getting a weapon that I quite liked. And I was surprised that it was an upgrade over the dungeon weapon I had pulled, for instance. So there's reason to do that. Now, I will say that I looked into the cash shop. Uh, I didn't even see anything, and normally I'm a massive whale, I didn't even see anything that looked remotely interesting in terms of purchasing it. There's skins and some pets and things like that, but I really didn't do much yeah. cash shopping at all. I just played with my buddy Kyra Mobile, and we kind of just ran through the campaign. Now, the majority of the game, you can play with your friend. So it is a type of deal where you can share quests. Like if you're on the same quest and someone kills three of the guys and you kill the other three and the quest was to kill six, it will count as six kills and, and congratulations, you completed the quest together. However, it is somewhat difficult to quest exactly at the same speed together unless you're constantly waiting on each other because people need to read their abilities. People, you know, need to level different things and etc. So you, some people pick to do some side missions and it can be actually rather hard to make sure you guys are always on the yeah, same page and can do the online. same dungeons together because if you're not really on the same quest, then a lot of times you can't get into the same dungeon. Now, it doesn't, it hasn't ruined the gameplay experience for me and I did pick this game up thinking that I'm primarily going to be playing this with friends. I was able to join with the viewer very easily. Shout out to Julius, and he ran around with a bard healing me. And uh, that all felt smooth. All the gameplay felt smooth. I was able to build a clan, no problem. Made the well pod, no problem. That felt smooth. The voice acting feels good. I will say good, not great. Um, however, I do understand it is the Western release of a Korean game. And so more than likely the Korean voice acting is just significantly better if I had to assume. Now in my gameplay experience, I chose the Berserker and I am really liking that class. It feels good. Every one of my attacks feels like it has impact. The combinations feel correct. And I'm not really worried about anything when I'm playing the hero. I just feel like I'm playing the game and not really fighting the controls. That has not been the same in other MMO experiences. So the fluidity or the fluidity, I should say, of this game is something that I will speak for, and I think that that is a very enjoyable process. So I think that they've got the feeling of the heroes down correctly. If I had to give a little bit of negative uh, gameplay to it, I would say it does feel like kind of like a Diablo linear type of game. I understand the game will open up as you play through, and I'm only five hours in, and you have to play through the main story, and that's basically how all of these MMOs are, including like questing and WoW. It does feel linear because it literally tells you go here, do this, etc., and there's a main quest that everyone is doing. 
That being said, there's a good amount of customization options. So you do end up being able to feel like your own hero and there's 15 different classes. So you're not stuck locked into something you don't enjoy. For me, this game is enjoyable. It is a solid eight out of 10 in the first five hours. And I think you're not wasting your time if you give it a try.